Alright viewers, Ian Higton from Eurogamer here. Now, way back when I was in school, I used to get shoved into the lockers by the big kids as some sort of hilarious prank. Hilarious for them, maybe, but not for me. The muffled laughter that rang through the tinny walls of my claustrophobic nerd prison will haunt me to my dying days. So it seems weird now that in recent years I seem to be voluntarily shoving myself into as many of the bloody things as possible. Hiding in lockers is this year's bow and arrow trend, so off the back of this rise in popularity, I thought I'd take a look at some of the best examples of locker love in video game land. Probably the most well-known instance of shoving yourself into a small storage unit comes from 2001's Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Not only were the lockers in the game a great place to hide from the enemy guards hunting you, but they were also a rather inappropriate location for Snake to treat himself to some alone time. What do you think you're doing, Snake? You don't have enough to keep you busy? Hey, I keep my sandwiches in there, you dirty boy. Perhaps embarrassed by the mess Snake left in the locker way back when, it took almost 10 years to see another memorable instance of Hide the Human in a video game. This time in Sweary 65's legendary mind melter, Deadly Premonition. Special Agent Francis York Morgan's self-stashery is unique in the fact that the game also gives you a secondary camera angle to look at while you hide, showing off the viewpoint of the raincoat killer, Greenvale's very own Jawa-eyed murderer. Couple that with the fact that you need to hold your breath every time old Anorak face gets up in your grill and you've got quite a tense game of hide and seek. <laughs> That definitely put the FK in my coffee. Quick, hide! Into those lockers! Alien's colostomy bag marines didn't do many things right. In fact, I'm not sure it did anything right, including hiding in lockers. In the stasis interrupted DLC, player character Lisbeth Hutchins must hide in a locker to avoid a hungry xenomorph. Unfortunately, all the tension is ripped out of this scene faster than the entrails from that unlucky NPC's body, thanks to the whole scene being a scripted event with no negative outcome for Lisbeth at all. Except for having to continue being part of this poop excuse for an alien game, I guess. Damn, stone, solid hit! Thankfully, this year Creative Assembly came along and showed everyone how to put the fear back into the player's rear with Alien Isolation. The slow pacing of the game was criticised by some, but those people obviously don't know what true horror is and how anticipation can heighten the tension of a moment. The Alien's AI meant you never knew when the Alien would appear or when it would sob the hell off, so finding and cowering in a variety of lockers was your main hope for survival. What makes the whole experience so terrifying, of course, is that thin metal walls don't really offer you much protection from a seven foot tall killing machine at all. If it finds you, there's no escape. You're dead, plain and simple. So make sure you don't forget to put away your motion tracker. You know, that thing that makes a nice alien attracting noise. <laughs> In this year's new gen reimagining of the Thief franchise, naughty Nicker Garrett has to avoid a lot of guards who want to get their hands on his booty. And I don't mean his bum, although that would probably be nice and firm thanks to all the, the climbing he does. But by booty I of course mean all the stuff he's gone done robbed while running around the city. Because Thief is set in a fantasy world, you won't be hiding in many metallic lockers, instead you'll have to shove yourself inside these wooden wardrobes. But they've still got those slat thingies built into the door, so you can peer out at all those weird dudes with eyeballs above their heads. Oh man, I've really got to stop taking all that acid. Outlast is a bloody terrifying game. Pure and simple, one of the scariest first-person survival horror ordeals you can put yourself through. It's awesome. 
Like all good modern survival horror games, Outlast has its fair share of lockers to hide in. Like this one here that you're forced to use near the start of the game, so you can hide from a gigantic, noseless psychopath. Oh, hello, sexy. Kiss a kiss. Oh, how rude. He could have just said no. The true brown trowel moments, though, come from when you are forced to hide yourself away in the pitch dark, with only your camera's night vision to light up your surroundings. I don't know what it is about the night vision filter that makes things that much more scary. It could be the restriction of vision, it could be the Derek Akora from most haunted flashbacks. But whatever it is works so well that I often found myself holding my breath in real life as Outlast's virtual stalkers sniffed around my hidey hole. And no, that's not a euphemism. <laughs> The final game from this year to have jumped inside the locker-shaped bandwagon is The Evil Within, from Resident Evil creator Shinji Mikami. Apart from one scripted moment right at the beginning, hiding in lockers isn't really that necessary to your survival in this clumsily controlled frustration fest. In fact, during my whole playthrough, I don't think I used one once after this point, but I did return later on to capture this here footage and to test how well a thin sheet of metal will protect you from a chainsaw. The answer, unsurprisingly, is not at all. So then, we've had a few moments of locker loving over the years, but why this sudden developer interest in storage units? Well, it's basically down to the current trend of survival horror games. At the moment, scary games are all the rage, and the locker trick is one of the best ways to create tension. Video game lockers are often about the same size and shape as a coffin. Ooh, subliminal. They offer no real protection and bring back that nail-biting anticipation of discovery that you felt while playing hide-and-seek as a wee nip. You're trapped, claustrophobic and cowering in a small space, and you can see your would-be attacker through the slats in the door getting closer and closer to your location. Running away is almost always certain death, and it's this feeling of utter helplessness that makes your ring piece start to tighten and your mind start imagining the horrors that await you if you are caught. So with this look at video game lockers at an end, I'll leave you with one of the best instances of a locker in video game history ever. It's not one that you as a player can hide in, but someone is hiding in it, and it's hilarious. Enjoy the locker scene from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and while you do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more gaming content. Good blah! Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. <laughs> That's what you think? Fishy think that too. These walls and door are six centimeters, no, oh, 12 centimeters, of Durasteel. I'm invulnerable behind my walls. Nobody's getting in here. <laughs> when the South Earth went insane and started killing everybody, I lock myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, you can't hurt me in here. I'm invincible.